All right, welcome back, guys, to the continued continuation continuation of the uh, Fire and Fortune release date announcement. And if there has been any uh, confusions, question on the previous video, please leave a comment below. Uh, I don't know if I mentioned that on a previous video, but, um, you know, go ahead, uh, leave a comment below and, um, you know, say what, what's in your mind, let it out. Okay. Snake, stop YouTubing, you fucking suck. Okay. You can let that out. I, I'm, I am here. I'm accepting. Okay. Accepting respectful criticism okay fuck that shit okay hold on so my thought was before we go into the um artificial um wormhole update let's um by the way i said something on the previous update i was like oh it says first september but um <clears throat> it's gonna be in 29th now i don't know if uh the Battlecruiser update rework has already been released. I don't think so. I thought they are going to bring everything together with the Fire and Fortune release date. Right? Who the fuck named that? What the fuck kind of name is Fire and Fortune? Nah, I'm kidding. Anyway, so... It was a bit more space themed. I don't know. Nebulous... Nebulous igni Ignition. I don't know. Whatever. This is gonna be great. Good stuff. Uh, whoa, this looks amazing. Thanks for all the... Yeah, yeah. Okay, now we're going to the second page of this. Reading the comments. And before we... Uh, I'm, I'm gonna try to go really swiftly across the uh, comments before moving to the next one. Okay? To uh, this here. Might be a nice idea with modules if every single class had it. Yes, that's true. While well, it's pretty hype, Dublin is finally getting some proper love and attention. Generally, for uh, uh, hope, I hope this won't mean the currently running story developments will have to wait until the patch after it's this one. Insurgency has been dying for quite a while now. Um, yeah. But uh, if, you, if you don't know, there was a weird thing going on with uh, the SRA and the new Molly faction. Which was uh, apparently by my sources now recently. I don't, I don't know if I can confirm. Was uh, run by Nix and probably Reeves. I don't know about Reeves. Um, as an anti coalition operative uh, project, you know. Uh, it was just the Mollies that just didn't. that just hated the coalition for some reason, even though uh, they were like their long time allies. I had some like fucking fights with Reeves in the dev team where he would say, oh, that was a player event. That was a player based role play between coalition and mollies. Meanwhile, he's fucking canonizing the whole player interaction, player role play they did with the non-aggression pack between the Brit Brit between Britonia and coalition. It's just fucking bias, bro. You know, fuck that. You know what I mean? But anyway, that happened, and uh, but apparently recently now, uh, I don't know if this is a new Molly faction or the same. Um, they do stuff with the coalition again, SRA again. They are like having POB plans, especially with the coalition transport getting in. Uh, and I hope that stays that way. Okay, Molly's and Red Hessians were our like longest allies. I don't care if you fuck up the other ones because I already did a role play with the order where i would go into a cold war again if you want to do a hostility there go ahead but um right now, like the red hessians and mollies are like such a like core bone um you know alliance that it's just it would be a little weird getting them unless there's a bigger plan for the coalition you know what i mean unless there's a bigger plan the coalition the big bad evil as it used to be um, has a bigger plan maybe but even then it feels a little off uh -huh. okay anyway let's go great teaser on one of the source changes uh, BC workers law BC workers life Emperor Takagi fucking Emperor Takagi still active in the community man holy shit I thought he died anyway 
Fab. OP contains no information at all. Trust me, the story changes are much bigger. It's a year of story changes in the one past. So where's the mod to be post seriously? We've got to start advertising. I mean, guys, pull up videos, man. Pull up YouTube videos. What are you guys doing? Man, nobody is doing proper uh, freelancer content. It's just tutorial in con. Tutorial. We fought this guy and this. No, do content. Uh, talk about like details of the fucking mod, like uh, different builds, different like uh, I don't know ships, uh, equipment, gear, whatever uh, needed. You know this ship is good. Why is this ship good? Do pull up content and people will come to freelancer. But trust me, people love freelance. And we have seen that with the freelancer after my stream. There was like hundreds of uh, people watching the stream. Uh, I saw I saw another content creator. By the way, even though I'm not uh, uh, that active in Discord, etc., uh, I am like actually watching people on Twitch, etc., on YouTube. I watch their content. Freelance. I see like a lot of freelancer content coming up with people, especially when the freelancer HD edition dropped. You've seen a lot of people um, streaming that on Twitch, and I've seen people with like thousands of viewers. Uh, playing this game and like constantly they were like for like hours they could maintain that amount of people watching them sure you could be like yeah well maybe they like that streamer yeah sure but um they also i mean i'm, I'm, I'm like participating in those chats um red milo saw me a lot in those different streamers chat he's he's active too <laughs> and um you can see people actually still uh, want to see a good freelancer game you know mod whatever that's been an interesting time to get back to Disco with all the Pennsylvania shenanigans and now the new patch. Congrats to the server team and thanks for you all your hard work. We appreciate it. That's the thing, right? We need more content. We need new content. Glad to see some news regarding the patch. I'd advise that regardless if the patch will be released in September, earlier or later, the team should make an announcement a few days before release. Recommending everyone that has a Battlecruise gunboat or other ship affected by the rework to unmod all, all equipment to avoid losing or triggering anti-cheat. Oh yeah, that's that's the shit that happens a lot. But I think they fixed. They should have fixed that with the new FL hook. I don't know. I don't remember. Uh, looks like this update is going to be a graves mistake. Somps. What? Graves. Okay. Anyway. Interesting. So the wheels of development turn slowly, but they can get us somewhere at last. Hopefully we get more detailed look at the Gumboot rework. Or or have I missed some leaks that were dropped earlier? It will it would be nice if this old game could get a second win with the devs finally getting some utility. Well, I also hope that Freelancing Discovery at some point uh, launch, has a launcher where you could just go Freelancer, uh, Discovery, website, uh, download, launcher, install game inside the launcher done if they would do something like that install game and then use the launcher play game launch the game boom that's it you don't need more we'd have a lot more people but the whole process to install uh, discovery and all that is gonna turn down a lot of people that's all I'm saying. when i tried to get people to play freelancer discovery and i got a couple of them uh, they all stopped later on because they didn't like the uh, full-on forced uh, RP rules and whatnot. And uh, they just couldn't find their place in there. And uh, pretty much left. By the way, I hope they really... I hope they're really going to go through uh, rules. Uh, Role-play rules and other enforced rules, okay? Um, I don't see... I don't say go soft on the what you need to do to engagement, etc. But I feel like... Guys, it's 2023, man. Almost 2024. At the whole forcing people to roleplay, I think if they want to roleplay, let them roleplay. Uh, EVE Online has that. People do roleplay and there's this whole story arc, whatever's going on. But there's also a lot of people just, just, just talk with each other normally in chat and are like... Um, Yo, you want to come mine with me? Okay, yeah, well get fucked or something and someone engages it's just it's i think it should be okay as long as there's not you know racial slurs and whatever stuff um to be talked to have a normal conversation or maybe 
Discovery should do a... Maybe Discovery should do um, a regular chat where it has the two brackets as a main, right? Local chat just has the... And that's how people talk every time. If you want to role play, you remove those brackets and then you type in your role play thing. But every time someone talks, press enter, you'd have those, uh, not brackets. What's the slash dashes? Yo, do that. Do that. That would ha infinitely help a lot of people. Uh, you know, if there are people that just want to talk normally and don't get it, you won't mind it as much because we lose, we use the slashes, you know. Uh, as an out of roleplay talk, so whenever someone wants to back up log, logs for their roleplay, they can just filter out the ones with the dashes, and uh, there you go, right? Or maybe we should, as a community, all agree on a new bracket that is roleplay and a normal chat that is normal chat or something, you know what I mean? Like maybe add to local system group chat add a role play chat and then make it a different color problem solved right make it a make the role play chat a different color boom or something like that. anyway not sure how to feel about the battle cruiser rework so well some pros some cons but as long as it's better than dumpster fire that was the cruiser rework it's fine by me oh yeah the cruiser rework. ah i remember the cruiser rework i actually played with the cruiser with the cruiser rework that was a little while I liked its weaknesses and strongnesses, I wish it needs a little bit of a change, you know. A little bit um, useless. Feel the cruisers, cruisers feel a little bit useless. Uh, can it hob? Yeah, actually, you let Molly's destroy graves. See that coming? If it's true, I mean, it's about time we stop coming. Yeah, I mean, Molly's destroy graves. Yeah, what's the problem? Is there something specific that the title of the update is re referencing, or will we find out in game? Seems like this is the case. All the work has come together and will be released in a handful of weeks. Much appreciate for your hard work. Everyone can't wait to see what the rest of the changes and additions are. Fucking lunatic on the grass. I was like, I saw this somewhere. I thought I saw a person called that in here. Really? Okay, maybe not. <laughs> I was like, I saw someone very familiar in the F Zero online community, and um, okay. Anyway, Tenshi Kronji, I'm sorry, but. I must say, the idea of weapon change is kind of stupid. Sorry, but it's true. If, if 10 guns available for each ship is going to be on the power to cruisers, the main reason why it exists is that they're supposed to be cruiser destroyer killers, not sitting... Ah, no, I don't... I think that's the case. Aren't battle cruisers regularly meant to... Um, quick ops against bigger ships, but um, or as agile to get out of a situation again very fast uh, I don't think they're like intentionally meant for like destroy cruiser killers as the main battle cruiser pilot I must disagree this change to only 10 terrorists these are my, my reasons about it I think you know what I think they did a balance of like let, let's say the four cruiser heavy turrets do a lot of damage maybe they do the same amount of damage of eight turrets or something I think that I think they thought about that right so the crew the turret amount whatever i don't think that's gonna be that much of a problem whatever reasons a normal battle cruiser is around 17 items for such let's explain detail yeah i don't to be honest i don't want a fucking juggernaut ship guys come on they're meant to be uh their armor has to be a special role the weapons there's sacrifice to weapons for armor whatever it is if you just put on uh, a juggernaut on every ship and you just see 17 turrets shooting at once come on it doesn't feel special at all between two and four battle cruiser heavies turrets have to have the nice ability in between between spots three of heavy turrets that's fine now four of such turrets 
for primary. Also, fuck you, Battlecruiser players. You have been fucking up capital ships for decades now. And now you're getting a little bit of a maybe nerf. We don't even know yet. Uh, you're like, oh, fuck you, man. This sucks. Yeah, man. My class, my favorite class, the destroy destroyer and cruiser, go fuck too. You don't see me cry. And I hope they're gonna fix it, but don't. Anyway, we're gonna see. Like, we have to... We need tests for this. You can't immediately be like, this sucks. We need tests. We need in-game tests to be like... Hmm, yeah, okay, this doesn't seem... Like, um, a good... <coughs> balance, update, whatever, right? People are shitting on the idea before it even launched. Okay. There's so much text. I'm not gonna le read that. Tenshi, fuck you, dude. You know? I'm kidding. I'm saying fuck you and all as a joke. Okay, as a joke. Don't. You absolutely do not understand the scope of Battle's rework. The amount is, uh, is admittedly somewhat light on details as well and should wait until the patch is up before coming into con conclusion. That's right. Yeah, I agree with that. Just wait. Toaster already pointed this out, but the OP is a teaser. You're missing a lot of context. True. Yeah, fucking. What is that? Isn't that. um? I forgot his name. Pillow. Fucking pillow, dude. Is he still alive? Man. I like that a lot more, man. You don't you don't need fucking you know 60 shots at once. Precise a lot of damage shots for bigger ships. That's what they're supposed to be. Okay, we're not gonna watch. Okay, let's just move on. Yo, we're like fucking 17 minutes in already with with responses. Sorry, I'm not gonna go through through all of that let's just read the l recent ones okay uh some some of the staff team seems interested in seeking community engagement and feedback one uh, one off if not the biggest criticism i've heard not only in my circles but in the other circles is that the player feedback and concerns are not a priority true there has been more replies by staff lately but once i corner their points and prove why current action is not in con concert with what is best for the players they Latch on to the other conversations and then I'm ignored. I'm the only one to have noticed this. If staff is serious about player feedback engagements, initiate more polls or even reach out to players via PM, ask open questions, very simple. Bringing this back around this patch update, believe it or not, I'm sliding with the devs on siding with the devs on this one. Let's wait and see what it, this patch brings. 100%. Changes can be made at the last minute, so we'll see. I just thought the first September is going to be actual launch. <laughs> well, he was right. <laughs> So I'm dirty renders, lighting is a little bit random and so is the choice of background, picks a preview, clip couple. Oh, there we go. Yo, what the fuck? Is that the new Kusari Battlecruiser? What is that? Looks like a wrecked. Okay, is that the Battlecruiser? They get another model for it watch the video again i'm gonna have to say i'm going to miss the current labc the labc was quite good oh okay yo it was good but i like this design more it looks a lot more closer to the liberty battle cruise uh, battleship so just uh you, you stick to the theme man stick to the theme to be honest the battle cruiser probably only the black parts or black blue whatever that was the upper part if that had a text change texture change that would have been okay too Coming on to the next version is uh, made public. It's also seems that the that the thruster drain on BCs increased in a vein similar to current light fighters and cruisers, which is something that I personally love. Yeah, it's interesting the <laughs> thruster mechanics how it will work. It, it it's certainly hard to get used to. I, I'm gonna just leave it at that. It's certainly hard to get used to. That's it. All right, Discovery Freelancer Final Fortune update. As some of you might have guessed by the cancelled feature showcase stream. I 
don't remember. I think someone mentioned it. I did shit. I should have watched that. The up upcoming patch is not quite finished yet. Since the announcements as one of the patch earlier this month, all of us have been hard and work and and progress has been good. The amount of work we put in over the last few weeks could probably have qualified as a full fledged patch back in the day, but that's not what we we're trying to do. The, we announced one of the most extensive new feature lists in the history of Discovery Freelancer, and we don't intend to take shortcuts or cross anything off that list. Uh, okay, good. What this means, however, is that we won't be able to finish everything by the 1st of the se September. Now that we worked on the plant and additions to the game for a while, many of us got a more realistic view of the realistic view of the work that still has to be done in order to bring you a complete patch. Based on what we sat down a few days ago and came up with a date that everything can be finished by, and which also provides us some leeway to avoid having to postpone the release again when that date approaches. Bro, my fucking mouth is dry man need some water what the, hell? the new release date is the 29th of september there we go now the bridge the gap until then we prepared some small teasers of things that the team is working on i'm gonna play that by the way tomorrow from freelancer um we are not gonna do fast friday because f0 we have been playing f099 non-stop this week so we're probably gonna do freelancers and freelancer ga gaming um so <clears throat> so, preview image modeled by Trevor. Fucking Trevor, man. An ancient weapon designed to keep out unwelcome guests. Do you dare delve this deep? Holy shit, okay. Doing away with the old system of a flash of light magically teleporting a fleet, our new Kishiro jump drives. Now, grant you the ability to tunnel through space using artificial jump holes. Two minutes remaining until jump hole collapse. That's actually fucking great, man. Like I said, Starlancer had this um, artificial jump wormholes. The Coalition had the technology first, and then the Alliance adapted it, a version for like fighters to do it. But this is um, this is interesting, and I hope, I hope they, bro, I really hope that they rework jump drives too. I fucking hated the amount of, first of all, amount of fuel consumption. And you needed to know, you need to have a different survey for like specific coordinates. And that needed fuel too. And then you needed to save those coordinates to a tab. And that was like a fucking long ass coordinate, whatever number. It, it wasn't just, oh, Omicron 52, save, save Omicron 52. I don't know, 0 0.2, 0 0.3. No. It's the entire code you have to write down. So I hope they fix that. And I think... I th the, the cool thing here with this jump drive is obviously when someone runs away, um, people can like track them back, right? But only the people that are in the situation. That's why maybe tw two minutes. I don't know what the timer is going to be. Because if you try to like um, gather more people to like follow them. That's going to take a lot of time, right? So only the ones in the p uh, situation can maybe follow uh, the, f the fleet, the running fleet. And potentially get ambushed too. So you have that risk, right? You don't know where the fuck he's jumping. He could be jumping right into uh, enemy fortified field, whatever, right? Uh, other players are just waiting there. And you jump in and you get fucked. So there's a lot of strategies to be done there. A lot of tactics, you know, a lot of fun to be included there. Okay. <laughs> so I like it. Huh? Let's see. Yeah, I'm just, I'm, I don't know, playing Eve a lot. I just wish, and, and Starlancer, I just wish Freelancer had this jumping a little bit more easier, man. Uh, not for cargo traders, don't get me wrong, but... It's just getting, getting from A to B to C. It takes... Uh, no, pe people don't have a lot of time these days. And... Um, you you, you want to get to a point... Uh, a lot quicker. I don't mean... That as a... Oh, just make it easy. Everything should be one second ahead. You know? Trade, jump there. Boom. 50 million credits. No. 
Um, but there should be like some ways to go travel faster between points. That would be nice. No. Anyway. Considering the amount of hype and RP people have done over the last month on this patch, I feel like this is just the beginning of another delay train or really the condition. Is it not possible to hold off on development enough to get a full patch? That's fine, man. I mean, they... They're working on it. This should have been announced earlier or it should have been the planned release date from the start doing this on the eve with the smallest of teasers known to mankind of slightly perhaps sort of dampens the interest rule number one <coughs> procrastination as soon as someone keeps repeating how hard they are working on something you know it won't arrive for a while fucking meg <coughs> and we involved in fl modding in the past i understand the enormity of the task which has been taken on here but about, yeah bro fucking, only people that know freelancer modding know how fucking you know uh that shit takes time um if they release the patch on time but full bugs you just complain it's full of bugs if they put yeah true true i think setting up a new installer at the very least would be a good idea i've done quite a lot of moving files around the current launcher is integrated at handling and which uh, a new installer would be nice tour worm has been working on new launch for quite a while but i'm not entirely sure about its state Ooh. <laughs> oh shit <laughs> so I'm a little bit sick still. Yo, Tree Worm? I hope he is still working on it. I really hope they release a proper installer like that. Fucking Vesker, bro. You do fly heavy fighters, do you not? Vesker, oh, I fly heavy fighters. Pretty ship. Pretty good. Pretty good. Good, fly. It was good. <laughs> Wait a second, is that a very heavy fighter? <laughs> the Wesker betray the heavy fighter community. Anyway, these people complaining about the release time are so spoiled. Would you rather wait for a good thing or get a quick fix on something full of problems? It's a miracle this game is even getting attention this far in. Some of you still have the audacity to complain, saying you can't handle criticism when your criticism is just. You bitching because you think you know better or deserve better. Look forward to what you're getting and don't grieve over what you yeah. So, okay, this is not the most diplomatic response, obviously. <laughs> but, um, I get where it's coming from. But, uh, it's just not, you know. Uh, those ungrateful plebs complaining about unfulfilled promises. It wouldn't have been a problem when you didn't post several threats to hype up the release and not re delivering. You could also have just waited until you were done. No, I think... Yeah, Desk Wesker isn't a developer anymore. So I think, you know, Mech thought... Mech thought, um... You know, Wesker is still part... Well, he still has the staff role, that's true, but still. Kind of whatever. It doesn't matter. It was not diplomatic at all. But he, he had a point. He had a good point. Uh... Good luck, the delete button will give you another month of delay. Best of luck, guys, with the new release. Uh, Dana, thank you for the effort. Yeah, yeah, soon, for real this time, promise. Bro, why are people shitting on fucking... Date. At this point, do you really care about when it's gonna be released? I'd rather have it, you know, released at all with a plan and vision and getting, like, small updates. Bits hinted there. That it's gonna happen <clears throat> then um also what well, it was first september and then they delayed it to 29th that's nothing it's not like they delayed it for like another year and then another year you know what i mean i just that's just what i think also they they gave an actual release date you know compared to back then right Anyway, maybe I'm a little bit too defensive. And I know people are going to be like, Yo, Snake, what the fuck, man? Weren't you the most critical one? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. And that's why I like where this is going, okay? It's change. This is change. People want to change. This is change. The Battle Cruiser rework, Gumbo rework. We still didn't see the Gumbo threat, though. I'm still trying to find where the Gumbo threat is. And... Until I get that gumbo threat, it's probably gonna be, you know, we're probably gonna be already playing the patch tomorrow. 
So I'm a little bit late with the videos of on this, okay? I'm sorry. Anyway. But this is it for the uh, artificial wormhole. Uh, and the comment section of the previous one, which was the Battle Cruiser rework. We're gonna get and dive into the next one, which is um, Dev Diary PvE Encounters. And as you can see, my boy Titan. My boy Titan is back and he's in the developer team. You know, someone I wanted to be back for a while now. Uh, he, back in the day, not this new team. He got ignored and like people weren't like paying much attention and he left then we were in the aftermath development team together again and he put a lot of work in there and that one got cancelled so i hope that coming back here they're not gonna throw him to the side again and i hope he's gonna have a you know bigger say and involvement in in this project so guys Thanks so much for watching. Always, if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.